welcome back to another video on Mac Gaming. Today I'm back on my phone, so I'm showing you footage from all five characters in this match. So I'm playing Priestess on Moonlit River Park, and on the same team we have a Perfumer, a Wildling, and a Mechanic, versing a Geisha. So the Geisha spawned and quickly went to where the Mechanic was, which was in this tent. And the mechanic was very concentrated on using her bow and she wasn't focusing on where the hunter was so she got down in 10 seconds which again is a pity but at least we have two rescuers on this team so we should be able to get her off the chair and as you can see we were all on the other side of the map so, I created the super portal in hopes that the mechanic can travel very quickly to the other side of the map as soon as she gets rescued and it will bring us closer to the mechanic's chair and I went in for a quicker save because I didn't want to wait until half and then get Terra shock so I baited the hit from the hunter and I saved with Titaner and I returned to the other side of the map to the code and the mechanic was going to go down quickly but the wildling was very close by so he should be able to take the attention from the hunter and the mechanic died right next to the pair which was very bad and if you were playing any characters and you got hit after tide turner please run as far as you can from a chair because that will give your teammates more time to decode as well as more time to rescue you so as you can see the wild man took the attention from the hunter and the hunter lost where the mechanic was so that was a very brilliant move from the wildling and here we can see why the wildling can be so dangerous to a hunter because once you start chasing a wildling and you can't get a hit on them then you have wasted a lot of time and the other decoders are all decoding very quickly on the map so now we have four cybers remaining and the hunter has decided to stop chasing the wildling but the wildling kept going back and harassing the hunter so you know she couldn't stop going after the wildling she was forced to go after him but as you can see the pig does run out quite quickly on the wildling so the wildling now needs to kite by just running around and his movement speed is slower than other survivors so it's easier to get caught but he's quite a good player so he didn't get caught which was very nice and now the hunter is still chasing him but then the hunter now sees the mechanic's doll so smartly she went after the doll and the doll got hit and also exposed where the mechanic was who was decoding with me at the time so this cyber was very nearly completed and I ran up this side of the stairs to take the attention away from the mechanic but the mechanic did not run down quickly enough and luckily got the pallet stun on the hunter so now the wildling has traveled to this side of the map to protect the mechanic and the geisha got distracted again and went after the wildling for a bit before finding the mechanic again so she chased after the mechanic and at this moment i decided to go back to the cypher to complete it so that the hunter can't teleport here anymore and then i just left with this portal and traveled to the other side of the map and the perfumer was finishing the other cypher on this side of the map and the wildling is continuing to distract the hunter while the hunter is going after the mechanic and she got the hit on the mechanic but luckily because i got the portal right above the chair the hunter decided not to chair the mechanic inside the tent and decided to travel outside this gave enough time for the mechanic to struggle out of the balloons and she could continue to kite the hunter while I was continuing to decode the last cipher on the map 
which was on the other side. So now the hunter is still going after the mechanic, but the perfumer has taken a hit for the mechanic as well. So the teamwork is actually very nice because we are taking hits for the mechanic and we're distracting the hunter so that she couldn't chair the mechanic. And you can see how important the wildling is in this match. And now I'm halfway through decoding the last cipher and the geisha is probably paying attention to which cipher is wiggling so that she can teleport there and stop the decoding obviously. And you can see that there are three survivors on this side of the map. So the geisha went after me. Maybe she thought I was the mechanic but I wasn't and I pinged the rest of my team that the hunter was near me and then I quickly used my portals to put a lot of distance between the hunter and I and I just kept using the portals and left the area as quickly as I could and now the geisha is guarding this cyber because obviously she can hear how close it is to being done and she's just staying on this side of the map as all three of the cybers are actually on that side of the map so it is kind of like a three cypher situation where we would try to prevent it from happening mm. but in this match we managed to decode the last cypher anyway so as you can see she's now going after the perfumer and the wild ring was very close by again to distract her and I was right there behind the perfumer and I saw the hunter going after her. So quickly I traveled through my portals back to that cypher that I was so close to finish decoding and I primed the cypher very quickly. So fast forwarding the match slightly, you can see that the hunter is still trying to look for the mechanic and there are three injured survivors on the team right now. So because I have primed the cypher, I have this super portal so that the wild can escape the hunter's chase and quickly get to the other side of the map and get out of the exit if he needs to. And yeah, I just quickly ran towards the exit where the perfumer was also going towards so that we can open the exit quickly. And by this time... The hunter has got the mechanic down and it's fine because it is only the second time he's been chaired and the mechanic can wait a bit on the chair still. And here I'm just putting down a portal in case the hunter decides to teleport here. And yeah, we managed to get the victory for this match even though the mechanic got found super early on in the game. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like if you did and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!